welcome. So today I'm doing a review of this Xiaomi Roborock S6 Pure. Right, so this is how it looks. Uh, pretty much uh, identical to all of the other Xiaomi uh, robot or yeah, Roborock Xiaomi uh, vacuum models. So uh, the, the appearance is, is very similar. They have like a clear identity of, of how they make these devices and, and they are sticking, sticking to that. So what you're getting, like uh, the other Xiaomi Roborock uh, vacuum cleaners, is a app-controlled uh, vacuum cleaner that has this laser uh, tool uh, on top of it that constantly is scanning the room that it's running in and saving this information so that it can create like a more intelligent path of navigating through your house and also the ability to find back to its base should it be low on power and need to charge to resume the, the clean after it has, uh, has recharged. So that's uh, still uh, part of the package. You get uh, a, a mop functionality that can, there's an attachment that can stick here to the end, which allows you to put on a, a mop with a, a slight water tank that can give uh, yeah, your tiles uh, a, a quick yeah, brush up, if you will. Uh, it's not a thorough cleaning, but it, it can do something. And that's something that we're gonna look on in this review. How does that work? And is it worth the money? Because that is one of the added features if you compare this more expensive model to the basic series of, uh, of Xiaomi's robot vacuum cleaners. You also get an integration to Amazon Alexa and Google Home where you can start the vacuum cleaner from your uh, voice assistant should you not want to do it directly from the vacuum cleaner itself or through your uh, app. And on the app side, you can both use the Mi Home app from Xiaomi or the Roborock app from yeah, Roborock. So uh, also part of the package. What is uh, different from this device from some of the others is that it can detect if it's running on carpets and if it does that, it will increase the suction power for that duration that, while it's running on the carpet. So you get a little bit of extra cleaning power in the rooms where you have carpets. So good, uh, good feature to have and also something that I'm gonna show you guys. Um, all the, the standard accessories uh, with the bristles and the main brush and stuff like that and the filters, those are still uh, changeable and fairly cheap accessories to, to, to get from uh, many sources. Uh, so again, that part is, uh, is, has not changed with, uh, with this model. But let's have a look at what's in the box and, uh, and what you get. So what you get is of course the charging station and a plug that fits your region. You get an English manual, you get the wet mop with one cloth and a couple of extra attachments. And you get this base plate to protect the floor near your charging station if you are using the wet mop. So the dustbin is like we know it from the other Xiaomi robots and this filter is identical to all of the prior versions so you can use the same if you have some left. Same goes for the main brush but the side brush is slightly different from the basic model but can still be changed like we know it. If we just spin the unit around you can see some of the 13 centers that make this unit so intelligent and make sure that it can both scan the room and doesn't bump into anything too hard. So the obvious question would be, what is the difference between this S6 Pure model and the original S6? They are pretty much alike, uh, very much alike. So this, is, uh, you, this isn't fair to call it like a budget model of the, the original S6, but there are some things that they have saved uh, compared to the original S6 model. So one thing they, that's lacking on this model is a uh, mob detection uh, sensor. And I'm guessing that's for detecting if this is going near a carpet and then not going over that if the, the mop uh, is attached to, to the unit so not to spill water over one of your carpets. But uh, it's not like this is just a reduced version because the water tank on the S6 Pure is actually bigger than the original S6. And the Pure model also has an ability to do smart charging if it's uh, let's say you're cleaning your entire house and you are almost done but uh, it's lacking one room but it's on low battery now. So up until now what you've been seeing with these models is that it will go back to the charger, charge to 100% and then resume the cleaning. 
even though it might only need like a couple of percent of battery to, to finish the house. So this model can make a better decision about that uh, experience and only charge what it needs to go back, resume the cleaning and then go back again and, and do the complete charging. So that will speed up the, the, the cleaning process if you have a big house. So, so again, there are some small differences here. And another difference is if you look at the original specs, you will see that the original Pure S6, sorry, the original S6 is two decibels uh, less noisy than this one. I would say <laughs> I've been uh, living with this model uh, and testing it out now for more than a month. And I wouldn't uh, call it noisy at all. I have no problem having it running in the house while we are home. So these are small subtle uh, differences. So again, there are no big differences between this uh, model and the, and the S6. So you shouldn't buy uh, the pure model if you have the original S6. If you haven't bought either or are deciding on which one, you should buy this if you can save a little bit. Uh, in Denmark, you can save like, mm, let's say 30 bucks-ish uh, buying the pure model. And especially if you are not using the, the mod feature, I, should, I would advise you just to buy the, the pure model. If you have uh, the intention of using the mod function a lot and have a lot of carpets, when well, then you might be better off with the, the original S6 with the additional sensor in that uh, regard. So small differences here. I started out setting this device up using the Mi Home app. You need to make sure that you are on a region that has this specific device. My original region was made in China, but that doesn't support the S6 Pure. So I changed it to a European region and then it worked out fine. You then to select the Wi-Fi point that you want the device to connect to. And that's pretty much straightforward from what we know of these type of devices. After the setup process is through, you can select which room in the Mi Home universe you want the device to sit in. Once I did that, I pretty much went into the settings to enable that uh, this device can save the map, which is the really interesting feature of this device. But once I did that and started running the device, and I have just speeded the, the test up here, you can see that it's running, but it's not really creating a map that I could see. So I changed my uh, app to the Roborock app, which you then have to go through the setup process once again. But this is a little bit more straightforward since it doesn't support that many devices. And again, you point out which network you want it to connect to. But once I did change to the Roborock app, you can see here that it actually brought over the runs that I did on the Mi Home universe, and then the maps are showing here. So obviously there's some sort of uh, bug in the Mi Home app right now with this specific device. So I recommend that you are using the Roborock app if you are uh, using this device. So one of the features of this more high-end model is that it will allow you to save the map that it's creating while running. So this is one of the new features is because up until now with the basic model that I've been having for a couple of years now, the map is sort of forgotten each time that it runs. So it creates a new, new map each and every time. And if I, for some reason, have closed the door to part of my house, that section will not be in the map that it's then created and therefore I cannot direct it to that part of the house should I want to do that the next time. So that would, would require me to sort of to do a complete cleaning of the entire house for it to make sure that it has the entire house covered. Whereas this, you can just do it once and then you can save that map uh, and then and separate it into rooms and that will allow you to specify specifically which rooms you want to clean uh, on each run that you uh, that you make. So let me show you how that functionality works. So within the Roborock app, you can hit this uh, lower left uh, button here and select Edit Map. Before we go into this feature, you need to make sure that the vacuum cleaner has run in, in your entire house. So you have a map to choose from where you see your entire house. Once you've done that, we can select that map to use like for a base configuration. We then hit the same button and then hit edit room to do the more specific uh, configuration of uh, splitting your house into different zones that you can uh, then use. We do that by hitting this divide button and then placing these lines that you will see now to uh, segregate the, the house into different zones. I'm just gonna speed the process up to see you here how I did it for, for a couple of uh, my rooms. 
but you can uh, and this is sort of uh, tedious but you only need to do this once because it's then saved afterwards and uh, you never have to do this again So what you see here, you see the different colors that's uh, showing the different rooms. And then you're pretty much done. We also have the feature to set a, like a no-go zone, like you see here. And what that does is it will make sure that the vacuum cure will never run in, the, in that specific uh, area. We can also create like a virtual wall within the map, which is like this line that it will never cross also uh, if, you, uh, if you have the need for that. And the last feature, like we have seen in the normal app, you can create these spot zones where you can make it run and you can add as many as you want. So the ability to save these maps uh, permanently to the device is really a great feature, but there are limitations to this. So yes, you can use this uh, device uh, with uh, both Amazon Alexa and Google Home, but you cannot tell it like, uh, to clean a specific room using your voice assistant. You can only start and stop it. That's basically it. So of course that would be a great feature to have in the future, but I'm guessing that's also due to limitations on the Google Home and Amazon Alexa platform side that this is not currently possible. So what this feature will bring to you is if you have a tendency to do, let's say, more spot cleaning in specific rooms and not want to clean your entire house, this is really a nice feature to have because you could do this with some of the more basic models but if the room that you want to clean is not in the latest version of the, the old version's map, then you can't do it. So with this version, you get a more stable experience around that because the map is, is sort of uh, persistent and will not disappear like with some of the old models where it's only the last runs map that you can access. Right, so another feature of this device, like I mentioned uh, in, the, in the beginning here, is that it has the ability to detect if it's running on a carpet. So let me just show you an example of it doing that, and you should be able to pick up in the video that you can hear like it's, it's winding the, the engines uh, a little bit more, so it, it gets a little bit of extra suction power in those uh, rooms. So this is the mop attachment that you also get with this model. So the way that it works is that you can pour water into this, uh, this hole and then you attach this piece of, uh, of cloth that you can uh, remove so you can clean it after usage. And you also have the ability to control using this uh, button right here how much water that it uses when it's running. So you can only use this on tiles, so you should not use this in rooms with carpets for obvious reasons, but again, just so be aware of, of that part. You then attach this, uh, this, this cloth to, the, to these uh, two points, add it to the vacuum cleaner, and then you start it out. And then it will run and, and sort of give, a, let's say, a quick bristle uh, of water over your, your floors. But let me just show you on a, on a video that I did of, of, of cleaning my kitchen, how it works in uh, real life. So one area where you can really see that this model is uh, better than the original basic model that I currently have is that it's better at uh, crossing doorsteps. So my uh, current model, the, the old original uh, Xiaomi Mi uh, version, uh, can sometimes be a little bit uh, yeah, tricky to get over the doorsteps into some of the rooms in my house. And I'll, let me just show you a video where you can see the difference between how this model handles the doorsteps and my original old model does. So if we are to look at some conclusions here, so I've just brought in my old uh, original me basic model um, and this 
this unit will cost you around five hundred dollars, which is pretty much uh, double the amount of my uh, old uh, basic model. So what more do you get for for your two hundred fifty additional dollars? Well, you you do get uh, something here. Uh, I would say the obvious is the is the mark functionality that this does not have at all. You also get the ability to, to save the map and a more persistent experience about being able to pinpoint rooms that you want to clean in a more, in a more easy uh, way than with, the, with this, uh, this model. They both have the Amazon Alexa integration, all the filters and, and that stuff is pretty much the same same. So, so no changes there. So this is, uh, this is you know, up to, to you. I would say if you have carpets through your entire house, I would probably just recommend that you would go with this model. I was very skeptical, skeptical about the, the mob functionality on this uh, vacuum cleaner, but I must say that I am become slightly convinced here that this is something that could be meaningful to me when I'm replacing this uh, model further down the line. So uh, it, it, it does give a nice look on your, uh, on your kitchen tiles and stuff like that when you are running this functionality. It's not a deep cleaning in no way, but it does give like a, a nice yeah, touch uh, when you are using the, the mob functionality. So I am you know, a fan of that part. And again, it, it, it has a better functionality about uh, going through over doorsteps than my uh, old model. They can both do it, but this is more consistent and, and just better about it. I also like the, the functionality about that it, uh, it cleans carpets slightly better as it can detect that it's running on a carpet and will just increase the, the suction power in that uh, period. So you're getting a lot here for your, your money, but this is one of those scenarios where you need to look at your, your needs and then how much you're willing to spend because this is hands down a better vacuum cleaner than my original model. But again, this is also more expensive. So you should look at you know, how much are you willing to spend? What, how big of a house do you have? Do you often need to, do, to use like a mob functionality? And if you are uh, current, uh, constantly cleaning uh, specific rooms and not your entire house, then I would recommend that you would go with, uh, with this model. If you are only cleaning carpets and or, or only the entire house and don't want to like pinpoint the rooms to clean, I would say you can save money and just go with the original basic model. I hope this was uh, helpful to you guys to decide what, uh, what you can get with a model like this. If you have any questions, just shoot uh, in the comment sections. I will leave links to both models and also in the description field if you have any uh, any questions or want to uh, to buy this see you guys around